So what are my short-term and long-term goals? So let's start with my short-term goals. My first short-term goal is to qualify next year, November, with a first. That is my one true, that's my aim. Fingers crossed I can do that. My next short-term goal, some of you might be who know me might be shocked by this, but I want to be able to stand in front of a room of people and confidently do a talk. I would love, you know what, one of my dreams is to actually do a TEDx talk. If you don't know what TEDx is, go and look it up on YouTube. They are so motivating and inspiring and I would love to just be that person and be in that room to inspire so many people and confidently do this because it sounds balmy but here doing vlogs one-to-one -one, uh, behind social media I'm so confident uh, you know I've got no one to think about no one to worry about really just me but when you can see the whites of people's eyes whilst you're talking to them in a room just looking at you and it, it terrifies me it really terrifies me but I do it I get out there I face my fears and I do do it and I put myself forward to do talks at university and everything because it is a goal of mine, I want to achieve that. So that's another thing that's on my list of things to do. Another goal, if I can inspire just one person to come into nursing, that is one extra future of nursing that we have just gained. And if I can do that, then my life's made because this is why I started my channel is because there's so much negativity around nursing. I wanted to create a positive, motivating atmosphere for nursing and to get more people into nursing because I love it. Nursing is fantastic and we need more nurses. There's a massive shortage at the minute. We're really understaffed and I'm really passionate about getting student nurses in and motivating those student nurses and helping and giving advice where I can. So when I qualify, I would love, 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 love to go into one of two areas, either general practice, which is one of my first loves. I had a placement on general practice and it was fantastic. I've never learned so much in all of my life. <laughs> So it's either general practice or I currently work in sexual health and family planning. I've been there for four and a half years now and I still work there on my bank shifts. And that's the second area that I really, really love. I love the health promotion side of it. I love talking all things sexual health and family planning, contraception, all of that. I absolutely love it. I love absorbing all of the information as a HCA. So when I'm qualified, I'm going to be able to pass on that information, which is going to be amazing and then alongside that I want to do that's half of my career that I want to do and then the other side I love students I would love to be a health educator or something out there teaching students helping students motivating students you know getting students really excited about nursing and helping them build their knowledge be becoming their best self and hopefully be a good leader and a role model to someone Next, I'm adult field nursing. I would love to be dual qualified, so I would love to go into something else, but I don't know what, because I love it all, and this is so frustrating. But this is the beauty of nursing. Like You think you're gonna go in and do something, but it opens a whole world of nursing to you, and you're gonna be, your mind's gonna be exploding because you're not gonna know what you wanna do because there's so much that you can do in nursing, and that is the beauty about this job. My longer term goals is, I would love to do my prescribing course. I have to be a nurse prescriber. I think they are so important, and it would make a big difference. I think it would be a massive help and take a load of weight off the doctors as well. I think it would just be amazing and a massive help and then it would follow on to advanced nurse practitioner um so i want to be a nurse practitioner as well because my ambitions have gone massively high since starting this degree and now i'm just thinking actually what can i do what else can i do with my life i can do this i can do this i can advance and can <laughs> mind is blown and then just my they're my career goals my personal life goals i want to own my own house I've never had a, a place to call my home that's mine and I want that. I just I just I need to have it in my life. I need that stability because I've never had that throughout my life. I've always moved places from place to place, city to city. Just life as oh, I don't even know what to how to explain that. Just life and family life and it's taken me from place to place and I feel like I just want a st stable home and to be in that place for the rest of my life and be happy there. 
then my next goal is the first thing I want to buy is a camper van. Even if it's a tatty old one, I'm gonna do it up, I'm gonna make it my own, and I'm going to firstly travel around the UK because there's so many beautiful places in the United Kingdom that we've not seen and we don't explore enough. We always were too quick to get on a plane, go abroad to different countries for the scenery, for the beaches, but we've got beautiful beaches and now we've got sunshine, we can do this. So I want to explore the whole of the UK and then probably travel across to Europe and do some of Europe in between my career. I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in. It's just so much. My mind's blown. Like I said, my heart is full with so many things that I have to do. I can't wait. I really can't wait. So I'm going to leave it at that because this video is going to be 20 hours long because I've got so many things that I want to do with my life, but they are the, the top main things that I want to do. And let, let us know what you want to do. What do you guys want to do? What are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals? Let us know. And if we can help you in any way, please tell us. This is for the collaboration with Car Carl Michael, not Carl Mitchell. Anyway, I'm going to be doing this for the collaboration. Um, so what are my short-term goals? Now, it's really important to have your short-term goals and long-term goals. Your short-term kind of kind of keeps you going. So some short-term goals might be learn how to play guitar or joining St. John Ambulance and maybe becoming a first aid ever with St. John Ambulance. So that sort of stuff is good to have when you need short-term goals, when you need that kind of push. Um, so yeah, one of my short-term goals is obviously to pack for uni. Um, right now that's one of my short-term goals, to start packing for uni, maybe lose some more weight for uni and maybe get a bit stronger. Cause I'm not that strong, I'm not losing weight to like you know look good and you know, I'm losing weight because I need I, I want to I want to be healthier so yeah that's kind of like a short-term goal to kind of lose a little bit more weight maybe gain a bit more muscle and yeah I just know how demanding paramedic science can be and how much it could actually affect my fitness so carrying a lot of equipment and stuff I need to be able to actually carry stuff and hold my arm up like my arm's hurting now holding a bone <laughs> My next short term goal is going to be buying all my stuff for uni. All I've got is a cheese grater at the moment, so that's kind of funny. I know someone who didn't have a cheese grater, so I actually felt quite happy that I was more prepared than the most prepared person that I knew. Another short term goal is learning how to play guitar and ukulele. This is Kyle's guitar. <laughs> ah, this is Kyle's one. It's quite big actually. But yeah, um, it's good to keep your mind um, kind of busy while you're having a gap year. So if you guys are planning on having a gap year, it's good to keep your mind busy and to learn new stuff so you're used to learning and progressing and keeping that up in your mind. So I decided to start learning how to play guitar um, and ukulele. Ukulele is so much easier than play guitar. I, re I realised it the other day. And yeah, to learn that sort of stuff is really good to keep that progress, to keep that stuff ticking in your mind so you know how to learn stuff on your own because you are on your own in uni you will get help off your tutors but not an amazing amount of help i mean it's not like they're gonna baby you throughout like it's not secondary school it's uni they're not gonna baby you they're gonna you know kind of give you your assignment and say do it uh, a short-term goal of mine is going to uni now because it was a long term but now it's a short term is going into uni getting all my stuff in packed and getting into my accommodation and settling in I finally got my student finance, so I should get my student finance through on the 3rd of September. So if you guys do know or don't know, student finance will email you and say what day you usually get your finance on. If I look a bit red, it's because it's like almost 30 degrees in and eating right now. And it is sweltering. I am just sweating. I sweat in winter, so I'm not surprised I'm dying now. But um, yeah, it's a kind of a short-term goal for me now. It was a long-term goal, but now it's a short-term one. I'm meeting that goal and it's good when you meet your goals, it's kind of gives you that confidence boost. Like if you guys are thinking like how can I keep up my confidence, how can I kind of keep up my progression, my phone just fell on the floor, I keep up my progression to my goal, it's just make short term goals. So for uni, a short term goal of mine is getting my books for uni, finding out what books I need, what books are the best books. Um, if you guys want advice on that best thing to do is ask a second year student so they are brilliant to ask it on advice on books because they can literally tell you what books are useless 
and you don't need to get and what books are absolutely brilliant to get and you know it might, it's good to get second hand books but I, sometimes with referencing they like to have the most up to date stuff and um, my brother told me that and it's quite good advice really so yeah um, and one of my long term goals is well a very long term goal is joining the heart team and they are amazing they will literally go into spaces where normal paramedics can't go so it might be someone in a difficult like position and that sort of stuff so when someone's in that sort of position we get called out as a heart team and yes another long term goal of mine is you know learning how to drive um, I would say that is, that is a long term goal because I know at uni I won't have enough money to do it and I'll you know I'll have to do it after uni <laughs> Yeah, so that's a long-term goal of mine. Get my C1 provisional. You need a C1 provisional to join the ambulance service. A long-term goal of mine is obviously joining the ambulance service. So before I join the heart team, I need to join the ambulance service because that's a good way to go into it. Um, I am excited for that. I'm so excited to start going into that profession and learn more to, into that profession and to start driving the ambulances. So that's a long-term goal of mine, to learn how to drive, then eventually move on, get my professional. Apparently it's quite a lot of money, so obviously I need to start saving up for that. But it's good to set these goals. You know when you're in school and like, sometimes they'll give you a sheet of paper of your long-term and short-term goals. I never really got that until quite recently when throughout this year I have been kind of planning for uni and I did kind of set my own goals like setting, setting up short term goals like start, start my student finance, getting my student finance sorted, getting my UCAS stuff sorted and those kind of goals kind of make the year go faster. So if you are on a gap here and you think oh I can't wait for uni now, just kind of set those goals and kind of say okay I'm going to apply for uni in March, um, get my interviews for September, not for September, for like December and stuff and that that's really good then you start preparing for in, your interview and stuff. If you guys want to know how to prepare for an interview, um, there's a couple of videos on our channel uh, on how to prepare for interviews so go over and check that out. Um, but obviously it is different for nursing, um, you will have different goals for when you're in nursing so that's why Claire is great to talk, talk about on those sorts of stuff because obviously she's in the middle of that, she is great she is that second year student you can ask she's that second year student you can ask what are the horrible books and what are the great books to get because i asked a student for paramedic science what books are great and what books aren't and it really has helped me out my final long-term goal is to eventually get my own house so obviously once i've started the ambulance service once i'm in there for a few years maybe getting my own house starting to get my own life sorted and you know settling down a bit that's a long-term goal for me so those have been my long-term and short-term goals uh, it's a collaboration again with Claire Carmichael not Claire Mitchell or Caramel as Jacob keeps saying um, this video is with Jacob also Hi. my first short-term goal would be to firstly pass my driving test um, because at placement well, at university sorry um, they don't make it mandatory that we need our driving license but they do say that you need to get to placement and it could be you know half four in the morning could be midnight and it's going to be on sociable hours so you can't rely on public transport all of the time uh, so you need to try and, and and get to your placement so maybe you, you, even if you don't drive you could ride a bike but it's going to be like a two three hour drive and also when I do come to graduate I want my C1 provisional so my second short term goal um, is to become the student ambassador uh, for paramedic science on my course um, I want to do some speeches at, at, at the open days I want to it probably, it probably sounds really really silly but I like I want to speak in front of people if you get what I mean uh, I really like to watch motivational videos you know speeches and I find them really inspiring and that's what I want to do Two years ago, I went to Worcester University and a student did a speech for an, an open day and I thought that was really, really, really well done. And I made a promise to myself that I'm going to do that one day. I want to speak in front of 
students. I want it, This channel is the reason why I want to sort of do speeches as well. I want to motivate people to join the ambulance service, to follow their dreams, to maybe go into nursing, or you know, if if something's their dream, that's what I want. To, that's what I want to put across in this video. Go and follow your dreams. It would be pretty cool. So my third short-term goal would be to explore and develop my skills at university and myself and my personality, everything like that. I want to explore who I am as a person at university. Um, what I mean by this is in October, I'm doing a charity event. I'm jumping out of an aeroplane with my friend, Carl. He's going to be doing paramedic science with me at the University of Worcester. Um, me and him have organized this charity event to raise money for cancer research. I'm absolutely terrified to jump out of a plane. So that's something that I'm going to push myself to do. Um, I want to meet new people, I want to try new things out, I want to join societies at university. Um, I'm When I start university I said I'm going to make a society in my other videos, it's called Tea and Chat. And basically what this society is about is, it's basically promoting mental health so people can come, um, as many people as, I don't know how many people would, would hopefully a lot of people come, and what we'll do, we'll just sit and talk about absolutely anything because in university you are going to all going through the same situation at the exact same time so we can all relate to this you know we can all relate into this situation at university uh, we can talk about anything from you know, favorite movies to mental health to anything like that and we can just sit and drink tea and talk to each other and hopefully this this helps promote mental health because it's so important to promote mental health so what are my long-term goals? Now these are goals that I've set from now at an early age to be honest and I've set them in the very very long future. I want to become a clinical team <coughs> clinical team mentor in the ambulance service so after I've graduated I then want to look at my roots and that's the route I want to follow so I want to become a clinical team mentor in the ambulance service. Um, strictly because I like to become a mentor to students I want students to come to me and ask for advice so I want to mentor them, I want to make them the best student they can, I want to give them advice, I want to use my experience and the ambulance service when I do have them. Obviously this isn't going to happen overnight, this is going to come with, with uh, you know, experience from the ambulance service. My next long term goal for me would be to become official West Midlands Ambulance Service tweeter, on Twitter obviously. Um, you're probably thinking why the hell do you want to do that? Well, I like to have an impact on social media. I like to talk to people on social media. Um, so I would love to have the opportunity to be a part of West Midlands Ambulance Service and tweet upon my journey in the ambulance service and maybe have an impact that way on Twitter. Um, it sounds like a really silly long-term goal, but it's something I've always aspired to, to be. So yeah, that's, that's kind of a weird long-term goal, I know, but... Okay, I'm sorry, I've got a... A quite a lot of long-term goals as well I've only just realized I've had to narrow them down to the ones that I'd think would best fit this video so my next long-term goal we probably sound really surprised about this but I want to publish a book on my journey uh, in the ambulance service so I want to start writing blogs now which I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing soon <coughs> uh, Claire's gonna help me with that she also writes blogs as well I'm gonna leave, leave her blog page in the description below if you want to check that out I would really recommend you go and check it out um, but eventually when I you know, go into university, I've graduated from university and I've then experienced my journey, I may be a clinical team mentor, I want to publish a book saying that how I first started, you know, maybe mention this, these YouTube videos I did, um, where I've came from and, and just talk about my journey to the ambulance service. I've always wanted to publish a book and it's sort of been a dream of mine um, since I was very small as well. Uh, so yeah, publish a book, I know this probably sounds barbaric now but it's something I've always wanted to do and it's always something I've looked forward to do. So another goal for me would, would be, this is quite an um, optimistic goal for me, would be to finish university with a first. So uh, it is, it is going to be very, very, very difficult at university. I would be happy with a 2-1, but I, obviously everyone aspires to get the best grade and I want to come to university and I want to smash it and I want to get the best grade possible, hopefully. Uh, so when I watch this video back in three years' time, I can think, yeah, you you did go there and you did give it or give it your all, which is, it sounds very daunting right now. I've, I'm going to start soon in September, so yeah, I want to get first at university.